Okay. Coming to a seated position on your mat. Close your eyes, starting with the seated meditation. Just connecting to your body and to your breath as we start our practice together. Let me turn on the light just in case it starts to get dark. Okay. So we're breathing. Feeling our spines long, chest and heart open forward. Really sit onto your sit bones, making sure you're not leaning too far forward, coming into a little back bend. We wanna feel really grounded in our sit bones here. Your hands can be wherever they please, resting on your knees, at your center in a mudra that you like, maybe chin mudra, the mudra of higher consciousness, where your thumb and your index finger are touching. Whatever you want to do. And as you're breathing, let's start to bring our awareness to our pelvic floor, to our hips. See if you feel any movement, any sensations around that area. We focus a lot of the time on our breath being up here in our chest, in our shoulders, sometimes in the belly, in the ribs. Today we're going to focus on our hips, on our wounds, on our pelvic floor. So really channel to see what happens when you exhale, ex exhale and what happens when you inhale. So hopefully what you're starting to notice is that when you inhale, the belly expands forward and it almost feels like there's energy pushing through the legs outwards. And when you exhale, your stomach contracts a little bit and the energy comes upward. So see if you haven't felt that, if you take a couple more breaths, see if you can channel that and start to feel that sensation. If you are feeling that sensation, we're already starting to inch our way in into the Mula Bandha. The Mula Bandha is the root lock. It's the energy lock located in the middle of our pelvis. So we really want to think and bring our awareness towards the middle of our pelvis now. If you find that complicated, um, you can just keep thinking about your breath, being aware of the movement in your pelvis. Or if you're familiar with the Mula Bandha or want to try. On the exhale, when you feel that contraction in your stomach, you're also going to contract the pelvic floor. It should feel like you're like slurping something up with your pelvic floor somewhere in the middle of your pelvis between the front and the back. See if you can channel that and feel that on the exhale. And on the inhale, releasing it and bringing the energy forward again. If you are managing, you are now practicing Mula Bandha while breathing, working on your pranayama breathing exercises. The Mula Bandha has amazing benefits in working on it, finding stability, secureness, stillness, peacefulness in your body and in your mind. 
For women, it can really help with any menstrual cycle problems or issues. In pregnancy, it can lead to amazing benefits such as having a baby that weighs a bit more. I can send you a link to a study at the bottom or after the class. Couple more rounds, just practicing this light contraction on the exhale in your pelvic floor. If you're familiar with Kegels, it's the same sort of action. So we'll slowly release. Bring our hands together, warming them up to give us give ourselves a little vagus nerve massage. The vagus nerve is located primarily behind the ears here. Really nice place to massage yourself, activating the parasympathetic nervous system, allowing us to feel more at ease, more relaxed, less stress, less anxiety. It's just a nice massage. You can make your fingers into a V and come on the front and back of your ears. We're gonna practice a pranayama exercise here that I love. It's called Brahmari breath, the bee's breath. When we do this, we detach from all of our senses and connect to the positive energy in the universe. So, and also with the use of sound, we re-energize all of the cells in our bodies. So we love this. We're gonna take our hands and slowly place them onto your cartilage without going into your ears and not pressing really hard, just lightly pressing on the cartilages, the inner cartilages, the tragus. And before you press, keep them open for a moment while I describe the rest of the, the finger postures. We're gonna bring the index finger above your eyebrow, the middle finger on your eyelids, the ring fingers by your nostril, and your pinkies by the sides of your mouth. So it should look something like this. This is Shanmukhi Mudra. It detaches us from all of our senses, allowing us to find more stillness and traveling inwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press on all of these areas, closing the eyes, closing the mouth, lightly pressing on the ear cartilages and on the nostrils, not really pressing on them. And we're gonna take an inhale through the nose, And exhale, keeping the mouth closed, making a humming sound. It should sound like a bee. I'm gonna do two more of these. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Press on your ears to really go inside. Inhale. Exhale last time. Slowly release the hands to your thighs. Take a moment to feel the energy through your body. Beautiful. From here we're gonna enter a varied sun salutation, good for pregnancy. If you feel like doing a regular sun salutation, feel free to do so, or you can follow along in this um, variation of it. We're gonna do a kneeling sun salutations, knees together, or maybe hips distance. Better for pregnancy to have that nice wide angle. Inhale the hands up. Just like in our normal standing posture, make sure you're not coming into too much of a back bend, activating the core, nice long spines here. Exhale, coming to the right side for a little side bend. Inhale the hands up. Exhale to the left, side bend. 
Inhale, back to center. Exhale, coming forward into a mini tabletop. You're gonna be on your fingertips here. You can move the legs a little bit more back, if that's comfortable. And almost, instead of coming into an upward dog, we're gonna come into a cow pose here. And instead of dropping the stomach all the way, we're gonna work in a direction here of pulling the head forward and the hips back. Still activating this nice, strong back here. Inhale. Place the hands on the ground and we'll slowly lift up into our downward dog. Exhale. You can feel free to come into a half downward dog if that's more comfortable. We're going to take a couple deep breaths here if it's comfortable for you. Moving around for a moment in our first downward dog. Maybe shaking out the hips, maybe walking out the legs. Gonna drop the knees back down to the ground. Inhale, look forward, cow pose without dropping the belly. Still looking up with the head, opening the shoulders back. Exhale as you walk your fingers towards your body. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, samastiti rest. Again, inhale up, exhale to the right side bend, inhale back to center, exhale left side, inhale up, exhale coming down into your tabletop, inhale look forward and up without dropping the belly, reaching forward with opposite sides of the body, of the spine. Placing the hands on the ground, bring those hips up all the way, downward dog, exhale. Taking a couple deep breaths here, feel free to hold it in stillness or to maybe move around to your choice. Looking forward, drop the knees, Inhale, lengthen, push off of your hands without dropping the belly too much. Exhale, walk the hands towards the body. Inhale, rise, upward hand posture. Exhale, samaskiti rest. One more time. Inhale, hands up. Exhale to the right side, side bend. Look up towards your arm. Inhale back to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, coming forward into your tabletop pose on your fingertips. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop your hands, coming back into your downward dog. Again, feel free to hold it in stillness, static downward dog, or moving around. Taking a couple deep breaths here. Looking forward, drop the knees. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, walk the fingers towards the body. Inhale. Upward hand posture. Exhale, samastiti rest. Beautiful. From here we're gonna meet each other standing on our feet. And we're gonna practice Tadasana with a little bit more intention in the thighs. You can practice with toes together or inner hips with distance. For pregnancy, this should be more comfortable. And we're gonna close the eyes. Bring the hands towards your side, towards your, uh, next to your hips. Bringing awareness to your body. Feeling the little bit of heat we created with those three rounds of sun salutations. Now we're gonna bring 
bring a little bit more awareness to the thighs. In your standing posture, activate your inner thighs to externally rotate. It might sound weird, but just try it. Without opening or closing the feet, the feet should stay in place. It's just this feeling of, of the thighs just rotating outwards, activating the whole leg, but still looking very calm in our normal Tadasana posture. By doing this, we're releasing a lot of strain on the lower back and helping our pelvis carry all this weight. Just breathing deeply here for a moment. The legs are completely active. You should feel this energy from the middle inner of your thigh coming outwards and round. Now you can stay in this posture, or if you have a block or a book nearby, grab that block, place it in between your thighs, and bring it all the way to the top as high as you can, and squeeze that block or book or anything that you can place in between that's not too thin. We still wanna keep this nice hips distance here. I'm just squeezing the block. Should almost feel like the same um, energy and that we're activating the thighs here and reducing strain on the lower back. You can practice this all the time. Really good for the legs and the lower back and the pelvis. Breathing deeply, you can close your eyes here to really become aware of what's going on. Become aware any sensations you feel. And slowly release the block. Bring it back down to the ground. We'll come into a nice little balancing energy work here, working on the strength of our legs and our core. We're gonna inhale the right knee up, bringing the hands to heart center. Exhale. Take a moment here, feeling the balance on your left leg. Already here, focusing on your drishti, a point of focus that will help you maintain your balance. Inhale deeply, exhale. On your next inhale, you're gonna open your arms back and reach that right leg behind you as slow as possible. And toe tap the foot as far as you can while working slowly here. You don't wanna just like throw the leg all the way back and just land heavily on the ground. You wanna work really lightly here, maintaining the strength in our legs and our core. Exhale, sweep that right leg forward, bring the hands back to Namaste. Inhale, open the arms out, reach that leg back, maybe tilting the head up a little bit. Exhale, forward, hands to Namaste, lift that knee to chest. Inhale, back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Feel free to do a couple more at your own pace if you want to work more quickly or more slowly or you can follow me for a couple more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Coming back to center, feet together before we switch sides. Inhale, left knee to chest, hands to heart center. 
Taking this moment to feel the balance on your right leg now. Making sure the center weight of your body is focused in the middle here. The knee can be as high as is comfortable, it can stay low or all the way to the chest, it's up to you. Inhale deeply. Exhale. On our next inhale, we're coming back with the left leg, opening the arms back. Exhale, come forward. Hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Do a couple more at your, on your own, at your own pace, or follow me. Exhale the knee up. Inhale the leg back. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Coming back to center. Hands to heart center. Taking a moment to just feel the energy, strengthen your legs, strengthen your core. Going to open the legs now to a wide angle. Toes facing out as we're going to come into a goddess posture. In the goddess we have making sure our knees are in line with our toes, that they're not folding inward. So if you see that happening, then close the legs a bit, play around with the legs until you find that alignment. We're coming into your goddess pose. We want to make sure that the hips are tilting forward, protecting that lower back. Bring the hands to your thighs for a moment. Taking a couple deep breaths here. Going as low as you feel comfortable. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you'll go lower. If you want to take it a little bit easy, you'll stay higher today. Adding a little bit of movement here. I'm gonna inhale the hands up. Look towards your hands. Exhale, out of the mouth, crossing the hands forward. Inhale up. Exhale, opposite cross. Inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, switch the cross, exhale out of the mouth. Doing a couple more at your own pace. Feel free to come to exhale out of the nose or mouth, whatever you felt more comfortable. Last time, inhale the hands up. Exhale. From here, we'll meet down in the tabletop pose. Coming into that tabletop. I'm gonna take a moment here in child's pose. Feel free to open the legs wider if you have to make room for a belly or keep them closed. You can stay up on your hands here or come all the way down to the ground. Just taking a couple breaths here. Free to add movement if you like rocking side to side or staying in your stillness. And 
always throughout your practice, you should feel comfortable to let out any sounds that might arise in your breath or from a, po a posture. It's really healthy for the body to create these sounds matching to your energy, not holding anything back. Sometimes in my breath, I like to let out a, ah, you're just like, even just breath noises can be really relieving of any stress, of any anxieties, of any worries. From here, we'll come back into our tabletop and we'll bring our right leg forward to the outside of our hands, coming into a lizard pose. You can stay on, on your toes back here if that's more comfortable, or rest on the top of your foot. And if you have any sensitivity in the knee, you can place a little blanket here under the knee so it's more comfortable. In our lizard pose here, we're just gonna add some movement, walking around, shaking the hips, maybe backwards and forward. Letting that energy flow freely through the hips, through the pelvic floor. Still using our breath, attaching our breath to our movements. Bring that right leg slowly back to our tabletop and switch sides. Bring the left leg to the outside of your hands. You can stay on the top of your foot or down. If you need to move your blanket, you can do that now under your knee. And we'll add some movements again. Just walking around in circles here. Rocking forward and back. Maybe doing a sort of like eight angle movement. Whatever feels nice for you. Even just staying in your lizard and maybe rocking side to side. And we'll slowly come back to our tabletop. And we'll come onto our back. If you need any support under the head, you feel free to do that if that's more comfortable for you than being straight on your back here. Nothing too high though, just a little extra comfort if you need that. And we'll bring the feet together coming into Sukta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose, a reclined butterfly. Just for a moment here, if you need to place pillows under your knees, you can do so. Your hands can be wherever they want, either on the floor, or on your thighs, on your belly. Breathing deeply here. In your reclined bound angle pose, connect to your breath like we did at the beginning of our practice in the seated meditation. Seeing what happens in your pelvic floor when you breathe deeply. If your hands are on the lower part of your belly, you might be able to even physically feel the activation of your pelvic floor and the mini contraction in your belly on the exhale. Again, you can keep your awareness on your breath and the movement in your pelvic floor, or you can try to activate the Mula Bandha, the root lock, the root energy lock here, or on the exhale, just do this, this slurping inward, like a, like a towel through your fingertips sort of feeling. On the exhale, and on the inhale, releasing forward through the legs.
From here, we'll enter variations of bridge. Bringing that left knee up and pressing the right foot into the left foot, we're gonna enter a half Bhattakonasana, half bound angle bridge. Bringing your hands by your sides. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. We're going to hold it. Inhale up. Hold for a couple moments here. Pressing your feet into one another. And slowly lower down. Switching sides. Lifting that right knee up. Left knee down on the ground. Pressing the feet into each other. Hands by the hips. Inhale up. Exhale down. And this doesn't have to be as high as possible. It can be really mini ones as well. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale and hold. Breathing deeply here for a couple moments. Pressing into that standing leg, your right leg. And slowly lower down. From here we'll enter a full Supta Baddha Konasana bridge variation. So pop soles of the feet together, hands by the hips. Inhale, press into your feet, activate your legs and lift your hips up. As high as you feel comfortable. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more and we're going to hold. Inhale up. And hold. Breathing deeply. Pressing into the feet, finding your balance here, and slowly lower down. Entering our last posture, the happy baby pose, grabbing the feet from the outside. We're going to pull the knees in the direction of the ground, the soles of the feet are towards the ceiling. Really try to get that lower back, that sacrum, on the ground instead of lifting or pulling. Just pushing slightly on the feet, bringing the knees lower down, opening the hips. Lower back is grounded. No lower back strain. We'll take a couple deep breaths here in our static happy baby. And then we can add some movement, rocking side to side. Massaging the back. Maybe adding a smile, channeling your inner happy baby. Coming back to center, we're going to straighten the right leg, keeping that left leg in the same place. Trying to lengthen in that right leg. It's okay if it doesn't straighten all the way, just the thought, just the energy. Keeping that lower back still on the ground, head is neutral and relaxed as well. Slowly come back to center, regular happy baby. And switch sides, left leg extension, lower back on the ground, head relaxed. Come back to center. Inhale deeply, exhale, release. Entering our Shavasana. You can bring the feet a little bit wider than the mat, hands by the hips, or feel free to come into legs up on the wall. 
if you're by a wall or, or would prefer to work on that, bring the circulation from your feet back into your upper body. Or in your regular Shavasana, if you have any lower back pain, you can bring your feet to the edges of your mat and bring in your knees towards the center of your mat. This should open up the whole lower back, creating a nice little pressure on the sacrum there, releasing tension. So choose your resting Shavasana end of practice posture. And just breathe deeply, releasing your stress, your worries, just being aware of your body, observing your body and all the sensations and thoughts that come up in your Shavasana pose. If being on your back isn't comfortable during your pregnancy, if you're pregnant, you can lay on your side or maybe add a lot of pillows to make it more comfortable. And again, in whatever posture you are, bring your awareness to your pelvic floor while you're breathing. And what happens when you inhale and you exhale, just like we went over in the beginning of the practice in our seated meditation. Again, you can feel free to enter um, a Mula Bandha practice by uh, contracting the pelvic floor on your exhales, or just breathe deeply in your resting posture. Taking this time, just be with your body Give it this nice love and attention. <coughs> so whatever position you're in, we're going to turn onto our right side just for a moment, using our right hand as a pillow, left hand on the heart, feeling your heartbeat. You can also place it on your belly. Taking a couple deep breaths. And we'll meet each other in a comfortable seated position. Try to enter, keeping the eyes closed, staying within your body, within this inner awareness. Coming back to your normal breath. Feeling the space in your back and your hips, length, open heart. Give your legs a nice little massage here, circling on the thighs. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.